Hey gang. So even before we start doing anything with Rhino, we're going to set up our Rhino so that our screens look a little bit more alike. So what I mean by that is you may be using Rhino on the PC platform or you may be using Rhino on the Mac platform. Rhino started off on the PC side and for a lot of years there was an, an idea that the Mac version of Rhino was not anywhere near as good in terms of its performance as the PC, but they've made a lot of progress. And a lot of the students who prefer to work on a Mac generally will um, have very good luck with the Mac platform. I started off with Rhino on the PC side and switched over to the Mac because it was simply consuming too much of my computer memory to have a dual platform. So I switched to the Mac side and got very comfortable with that. They do look a little bit different though. So I want you guys to have an experience that is as close as possible to each other. And so what we're gonna do is actually change the appearance. If you are working on the Mac side, I want you to change the appearance so that it looks like the Windows, the Windows window. <laughs> and. Um, so that'll help us to at least see the screen looking a little bit more familiar. I have made a couple of the videos where we're still in the kind of uh, Macintosh appearance, but we'll, we'll work around that. So first thing we're gonna do, I am right now, I have opened up a new, a new file in Rhino, and if I am opening it up on the Mac side, it's gonna look like this. And so what I want the Mac users to do is to basically switch the appearance, how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna go under Rhinoceros, and we're gonna go under Preferences, and from there, we're gonna go to the choice of themes. When I click on themes, it's giving me this option to appear as Rhino for Mac, or appear as Rhino for Windows. So all of you Mac users, please take this step. I want you to go through Rhino, Settings, uh, themes and switch Rhino for Windows and it's as simple as that right so nothing has changed it will not change its appearance until you reopen so I just wanted to show you that step and I'm going to show you also what the two windows look like and we will from all the videos going forward be working I'm working on the Mac side but with a window that looks like the PC side. That'll make it a lot easier for all of us to sort of have the same visual experience of what this software looks like. 